Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Depths. I'm Minty, and this is episode 26 of the squad or 27 of the Squad and Shootout Season 2 tournament. This episode, we've got a bit. I'm calling a bit of an audible here. We have the United Colors of Freedom going up against the Gray Legion. Uh, today's battle was originally scheduled to be uh, my fleet, the World Shakers versus the Gray Legion, but I figured there's no way my fleet can beat the uh, United Colors of Freedom. There's absolutely no way it's happening. Um, so, it didn't seem much sense to do a repeat battle of a battle we just watched last week. Or, or yeah, it was last week, I believe, was the last time we had it. But And then have me do another repeat battle of the UCF versus uh, World Shakers if I beat the Grey Legion again. So, instead, you know what, I just... I'm just going to go ahead and concede to the Grey Legion so we can have a more interesting fight of UCF versus Grey Legion. Um, so this is going to be the final the final match. Um, however, since the Grey Legion has been defeated before, it has to beat the UCF in a best two out of three twice. Whereas the UCF only has to beat the Grey Legion two out of three once, and it becomes the champion of the tournament. So yeah... Let's go ahead and get those shells flying. See what who uh, who's going to be king of this tournament. See if the uh, Great Legion can handle these uh, ridiculously strong flying fortresses. The Great Legion does have a flying fortress of its own, but I think it tends to be pretty fragile. It gets destroyed really easily. whole bunch of bombs falling on the uh, Grey Legion battleship. We'll see how well it can soak that damage. Oh, some of the bombs getting tossed away by the explosion of other bombs. Great, whoops, kind of screwed up the camera playing there. Grey Legion battleship is a pretty tough nut to crack, but those bombs are uh, massive. Yeah, look at that huge hole ripped in the stern. All that damage to that rear gun. The battleship here is just getting bombed to oblivion. Oof. Oh, there's even a torpedo going in there. Did that torpedo hit or did it? Yeah, it must have. Wow, yeah, even the Grey Legion battleship just cannot stand up to firepower of that magnitude. Some of the, uh... No, no, those are all the, the carriers. The carriers are getting under a pretty heavy attack. Uh, the Flying Fortress is down getting DQ time. Oh, they have turned their attention onto the Grey Legion cruiser now. That cruiser seems to be doing okay under that fire. It's losing some blocks. Oh, well, it's actually losing more blocks than I originally thought. It's not really doing okay. That, uh, the fleet carrier's firepower is... Oh! Was that a, was that a bomb? That, did, uh, one of the flank... Well, yeah, the flank fortress has bombed the, the cruiser. Oh, the battleship is 80% in sinking. Oh, this is very much not looking good for Grey Legion. Yeah, they just... The Grey Legion does not have the AA to handle the flying fortresses. The frigate's destroyed now. Yeah, because this ha the, the fleet carrier has some good flak guns, but uh, flak is just not effective against uh, f uh, flying fortresses when they've got metal. And uh, even... Even Alloy is pretty resistant to flag. See, Grey Legion getting absolutely blown out of the water. Was not even close. So that is the end of round one. 
Grey Legion dying about as quick as uh, my World Shakers did. So yeah, get the camera in position and we'll get round two underway. Grey Legion has got to do something different. That first round did not work out well. If the cruiser, if the Grey Legion cruiser were to attack aircraft with its missiles, these flying fortresses, I don't think they'd be able to handle that very well. Those missiles would likely do a very good job of taking out these flying fortresses if they managed to hit. But they're not even targeting the flying fortresses. The cruiser's immediately going for the fleet carriers. All of the Grey Legion is basically immediately attacking the fleet carriers and leaving the flying fortresses to just bomb the hell out of all their other, uh, out of all the ships, out of the battleship. The battleship taking big hits again already. Another bomb coming in there, landing it directly on the top of the turret. Yeah, made a big old hole in that turret. Two outer guns look like they might still be functional. It is possible. That turret is pretty heavily armored. Oh, looks like we've got it. Oh, AI dead and two damage. Those are the fighters of the Grey Legion. Oh, battleship. Like, and the battleship isn't even taking the full damage of the bombing runs because a lot of the bombs are exploding and launching their uh, compatriots away from the target. And just look at it. Those bombs are ridiculous. There's also torpedo strikes coming in. But this battleship is just... It's down to 62% health already. Oh, that's the Flying Fortress that's 80% sinking. So it's gone now. Oof, big hit to the battleship's bow. It's not going to be able to take but maybe two or three more of those bombs without despawning from two damaged. Especially if it hits the superstructure and takes out a ton of blocks that way. Yeah, one more bomb is almost a guaranteed kill on the battleship. And here comes another wave of them, so yeah. There it is, two damage. Actually, it's 80% sinking. Oh, well, nope, it managed to clear the 80% sinking, but now it's two damage, so... That's it for the battleship. It is gone. So you have the frigate or the cruiser once again under attack from the fleet carrier's guns, and they are chewing it up pretty bad. They've almost destroyed it with with uh, minimal help from the flying fortresses. The frigate is now too damaged. The fleet carrier might be uh, bombed next, but whichever one gets bombed next is going to die quite quickly. The cruiser might uh, get too damaged just from the, the fleet carrier's weapons here. Oh, nope, here comes some bombs. Oh, no, it was too damaged before the bombs hit. The cruiser is destroyed. Now all that's left is the fleet carrier, which is not going to stand up to the opposing fleet carrier's weapons. So yeah, it looks like the United Colors of Freedom 
have absolutely demolished this opponent just as badly as they would have me if I if I had done uh, World Shakers versus uh, Grey Legion again and won that. So it really didn't make a difference. Uh, I felt like this battle would be more interesting to watch because we hadn't actually seen it. But either way, whatever the outcome would have been, it is proven that the United Colors of Freedom is uh, the superior fleet. It's uh, the, the cram, or not cram bombs, they're missiles. They're large missiles being dropped with magnets from these fleet carrier, or fleet, ah, flying fortresses. And each flying fortress, I think, drops three of them per, per uh, bombing run. And each bomb does like 80,000 high explosive damage. Oh, good job, guys. You crashed into each other. Excellent work. So each fl each flying fortress drops 240,000 AG damage with each run, and there's like six of them. So yeah, they just have a huge amount of firepower that if you don't have the AA to quickly swat them out of the sky, they are going to ruin your day. And that prove and it proved that nobody did. Nobody had the AA to handle them. So they have won. They are the champions of Squadron Shootout Season Two. Congratulations to uh, Harness for his victory. So yep, yeah, uh, for upcoming things, just to let everybody know, the next tournament I plan on doing is another season of the Battleship Brawl. Uh, I do plan on including some uh, uh, advanced cannons in that tournament, but because there were some recent changes to everything, I need to do some testing and whatnot uh, to figure out how I'm going to balance those, or if I need to nerf anything, if I need to adjust things, you know, what I need to do to make that fit. Because the Battleship Brawl is still going to primarily be a cram tournament, but I thought, thought, you know, maybe having some APS secondaries would be uh, interesting. And I haven't really been able to do that because I had to stay on a previous version to do this tournament, but now the tournament's over, I'm going to do some testing, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, I will uh, be working on that in the meantime. Or, well, I mean, I'll be working on that, but in the meantime, I do plan on doing a couple of bonus battles. Uh, there were a couple of people who wanted to see uh, face their battleship off against the Continent Cracker from my fleet. So I will probably do that. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.